Welcome back. This time we're gonna make an app called Note Page. When you look at the screenshot, it's like a notebook kind of page where you can write something down. Uh, you see in the screenshot, it's like a handwritten font. And when you open the app again, you will see what you have written down. Uh, we're gonna split this app up in four parts. First part is the text field. Second part is the, the background. It's called custom paint in Flutter. Third part is the handwritten font. And the fourth part will be the persistence, the saving of it. So let's start with the first part. So this first part will all be about cleaning this uh, demo app up and starting with the text field. This is just a new project. I just run with Flutter and you can see this is the counter uh, demo app. So to start off, we need to delete all things we don't need, like all these comments for sure. Let's clean this up. It will be done in a jiffy. One here. Okay. And let's see. Um, sure, we're going to keep this. Actually, we don't need a title. So let's clean that up. No title needed. And we also don't need all the code for a counter. No need. Oh, the title's still here. Yes. Um, actually, when I look at it, everything that's inside the scaffold body, we don't need. We're going to create our own stuff. I'm going to leave this. And certainly no floating action button. And for now, let's get a container in here just to make it compile. Okay. And like this. Oh, I need to run it. Almost there. You can change the title if you want. You can change all the, uh, the names. I'm not going to do that right now time consuming ah it's already there so this is nice and clean actually yeah i want to remove that debug flag over there you can do that in material app uh, debug show checked mode banner i'm gonna set that to false and it's gone cool actually we don't need an app bar at all so i'm gonna remove it there you go. Perfect. And now, almost there, we got a clean app. It's time for the text field. So text field is, uh, is a widget where you can, as a user, enter text. And that's exactly what we want. Let's hot reload. And there's our first problem. Because there the text field is under this android status bar and that's annoying why and i can tell you why let me copy this for a second when i return first we had an app bar so if the body now contained a text field it will be under the text bar and here you can enter the text that works fine but when I remove the app bar, the text field is under the Android status bar. And that's annoying. Luckily, there is a widget for this. And it's called safe area. When I hot reload, there we go. So safe area is a widget that looks at all the uh, stuff that Android and iOS have, like a notification banner, rounded corners, for example, and all that platform stuff you cannot handle yourself. Or you can handle yourself, you can do padding or whatever, but safe area is, uh, is, I guess, the way to go. So this looks good. Uh, we got a text field right now. We got the safe area. You can enter text. But I don't want this border, actually. It doesn't look that great for this app. 
So inside the text field, we can go with decoration. And we're going to do an input decoration. Yes. And inside this, we can define border with input border to none. Perfect. Let's have a look. There we go. No more border. So are we there yet? Well, I guess not quite because I can also type by the way in the keyboard, maybe faster. What happens if I want a new line? Hmm. I don't want this. I want new lines. Actually, I want to be, um, this whole screen should be the text field, not only this, this line. And we can do that. We can set a new field called max lines to nil because if we set 10 then you can have 10 lines but if we define nil you can have as many as you want let's hot reload again and there you go this is good i can type and it will go to the next line only one problem is that what if i want to have an empty line because the keyboard Hmm, now it's a return, but I used to have the check mark. And just to be sure, we can enter uh, a keyboard type. A keyboard type, and we're gonna say text input type. And well, not to text actually, but to multi line. Then you always get this uh, button for a next line. And that's exactly what we want. Uh, let me clean this up. This doesn't look that great. I need more commas, I guess. Yes, this looks better. More aligned. Let's hot reload. Yeah, and it will always be there. This is good. I think this is the, the first step for our app. And in the next step, we're going to talk about the, uh, the background. So thanks guys, thanks for listening and see you all in the next video.